This is the Mazda CX-3. It's an affordable, small SUV. Priced at around $210,000, it's bang for your buck. Being a crossover from the Mazda 3, the exterior design is very similar. It has the traditional smiley face Mazda grille. The side profile is where the SUV really comes to life. It looks like a Mazda 3 on stilts. The rear end of the vehicle has dual exhaust tips, nice tail lights, and a rear windscreen wiper giving that sporty look. The Mazda CX-3's interior is clean, nicely stitched leather on the dash, these old-fashioned airplane-style vents, nice feeling steering wheel with integrated controls for easy accessibility. On the center console, you have physical dials for your AC controls. Just below that, you have an SD card reader, two USB-A ports, an auxiliary port, and a 12 volt socket. Additionally, a wireless charging pad for a mobile device. Just below the sport mode button are the physical buttons for your infotainment screen. The infotainment screen is also touch screen only while you are stationary. It works fine as it's Bluetooth connectivity for phone calls and audio. It's a bit laggy though. Thankfully, there is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now, Android Auto is wired Android Auto, making the wireless charging pad obsolete. Unless you're in the same boat as me and your mobile device doesn't support wireless charging. Now, if you do want to see more on the Mazda CX-3, visit my website and check out my blog at mixedupwithpv.com. Taking a look at storage space up front, you have decent sized door bins, kind of limited space in the center console, but two cup holders, a decent sized glove box, and a sunglasses holder up here. For all the vain people out there, <laughs> like myself, there are vanity mirrors present without any lights. Mazda, how am I supposed to see myself in the dark? In the back, the seats are comfortable and there's sufficient head and legroom. Looking at storage space, the door bins are large enough to fit a regular size water bottle. There are cup holders in the center here and a sleeve behind the seat, enough for an iPad or any documents. Now thus far, the vehicle has been very impressive. Coming to the trunk space, this is where it starts to fall apart. Trunk space is decent for a vehicle like this, but it is limited. Thankfully, you can fall along the back seats, creating more room for longer items. So then, what do I think of the Mazda CX-3? Given what the vehicle offers and the affordable price in the market, Two thumbs up. Good job, Mazda.